Hey everybody, Brian here again, and this time I am at Universal because Universal Orlando Resort opened a new hotel and I happened to be here this past weekend when it opened. This is the Universal's Aventura Hotel is the official name. I've probably seen a lot of it on Disney and Universal related blogs, but I figured I would give you a tour of it today. I'm actually gonna have two different videos about this. This, which is just the kind of general resort tour, showing you around, showing you the amenities here. And I'm gonna have one showing you what the room is like as soon as I get into my room, which I can't yet. So this behind me is the lobby and the check-in area. And now the videos I saw of this beforehand, I kind of thought, wow, it looks a little on the sterile side. It looks a little airporty, but it's not nearly as bad as it looked. When you look this way, yeah, I get it. It doesn't, it doesn't look great. They didn't do a lot with it. But what they did do that was smart is they broke up the room pretty well with these two things over here. This is the bar in the lobby, the Bar Ventura. I don't know any of the names for anything here because, you know, it's been open like two days. And then over here is the Urban Pantry, which is the kind of food court eatery place. Having the shaded glass, I think, is a really smart idea because it breaks up the space, but still allows you to see the vastness of the downstairs of this. Now, so this isn't a huge building. It's not a huge hotel. I think it's just a couple hundred rooms in one tower. But the use of space, at least down here, is really good. So. The bar isn't open yet. We'll see out this window over here is the pool area. We will get out there in just a minute. Of course, we've got the Universal Studios store here, complete with the Harry Potter robes right up front as they do. Always a good idea to have that stuff. Over here, down this little hallway, there's actually an Avis car rental counter and the Starbucks, of course. It's one of the things I like Universal does that Disney doesn't is they, ha they put Starbucks like right in the lobby, because that's what I want it, is before I get to the parks, not necessarily when I'm there, because when I'm there, I want to ride stuff or film videos more often than not. So let's take a walk outside. Oh, and one other thing I noticed in that hallway with the Avis counter, they have little kiosks there for printing out your boarding passes. Something I know, I usually will use the boarding pass on my phone now, but I know other people that are just more comfortable printing it out. All right, so here is the outdoor space. We've got the Soul Bar. This is kind of the pool bar and this nice big high ceiling area that is creating a really nice breeze right here, actually. And this is a hot day, so that is a good thing. All these glass curved walls, which is basically what the whole resort looks like, are creating a little bit of a wind tunnel here that uh, honestly is, is nice on a day like this. And then up there you can see this is kind of what the resort looks like all the way up to the top. And there is a bar on the rooftop. It is not quite open yet, but we will get up there. Down there is the pool. It is not a particularly big pool, but like I said, this isn't a huge resort. So presumably there wouldn't be all that many people using the pool at any one time. There is also a hot tub in there somewhere, but I don't see it at the moment. By looking at these tables here, it looks like the uh, urban pantry in there uses uses the numbering devices like they use at like Be Our Guest Restaurant where they can locate which table you're at. Over on this side of the pool, looks like there is a splash pad here for the kiddos. That is nice. That's always nice. Especially when you have infants that you don't really want in deep water. Have over here, it looks, looks like we've got an outdoor pool table, ping pong table, a pretty big Connect Four board. Foosball over there. Soul bar right here near the pool is just that. It's a pool bar, six or eight draft beers, handful of cocktails, nice breeze right near the pool. No food, but again, you're literally right. This isn't a big resort area. You're right next to the Urban Pantry. You can go grab food in there. This is Bar Mentor. This is in the lobby. Pretty simple bar lobby. It is separated again by this little shaded glass here, but not much to it. No food, just beer, liquor, some wines. There is a TV there, but it's a very simple, like I just need a drink before I go deal with the real world kind of bar. And, We've all had those days, right? This is the Starbucks. It is pretty much a full service Starbucks. It is not just coffee. They do have some pastries over here. They have juices. They have pretty much everything you want from a Starbucks. Over here, this is the Urban Pantry. This is the main dining area. And they have a couple different stations. Right here, this is the sushi and noodle station, which 
I mean, has sushi and noodles. I don't, probably didn't need to explain that to you. A couple beers on tap. They have Japanese beers down there, Sapporo, as well as some other Japanese drinks. Over here is the burger station, which I can smell right now. And it's making me a little hungry, actually. I might have to grab something from there. This is the roast kitchen. Rotisserie chicken, beef rib, salmon on a cedar plank with, you know, you can get sides like mac and cheese, mashed potatoes over here. All of this stuff looks real good and smells even better, honestly. Drink station, that part's not exciting. And then the last one over here, like, I don't even know what station this is, but they have gelato, which is all I really need to know. Oh, no, donuts. I needed to know that too. Pizza. They have the pizza oven right there. And again, a couple of beers on tap. One thing you can always count on with Universal is that they will always have a couple of beers on tap. Pizzas there are $15. Sushi rolls, we're talking 12. Burgers are 14. Prices are a little higher than you would pay probably in your hometown, but we are at a theme park location. You kind of have to assume that. The food is pretty good quality, at least for the price you're getting. The dining area itself is not much. This is, might be my least favorite part. The check-in area and the dining area here, I don't think they did a lot with. I do like the little lighting balls right there, but not the best space in the hotel. On the second floor here at Aventura is the fitness room. There are a couple people in there, you know, fitnessing, so I won't show you the whole thing. It looks like mostly ellipticals and treadmills. A couple of weight machines, though, in there. And down here, this is cool. They have a VR game room, and it is just that. It is a game room that is only this big, where you don VR headsets. I mean, of course, it costs extra money, as all arcades do. But if you're gonna have an arcade in a hotel that you're pitching as technologically advanced, it's gotta be the VR, right? And one of the things I find kind of annoying about this hotel, in the elevators, they have these touch screens, but look, touch, touch, touch. You can go to the lobby and pool, any other floor you wanna go to, down or up. You have to scan your room key first, which on the way up, okay, I get it, it's a security thing but on the way down, it makes no sense. So here we're walking out to bar 17. This is the rooftop bar. You have to take a special elevator from the lobby. You can't actually even go direct from the room. You have to go back down to the lobby and then take the elevator up. That's in case it fills up, which I've been told it will later. It is a Saturday evening when I'm here. It literally just opened. It opens at four. It is 4.04 p.m. But this is bar 17. This is kind of their showpiece as far as dining and bar is concerned. It is, I assume on the 17th floor, I assume that's what the name bar 17 is for, but this is the bar with an astounding view. Let's walk over here. I gotta switch to my sunglasses. I'm about to get absolutely blinded here. Down there is Cabana Bay and Volcano Bay behind it. Over here, this is just kind of a big open space. Um, I wonder if this is for tables, maybe when it's not boiling hot out. So down there we have Sapphire Falls, the second newest hotel now. And of course, looking over, you can see Hogwarts Castle Spire sticking up there. You can kind of make out the Hulk and Doctor Doom's Fear Fall. You can see Rip Ride Rocket in the distance. And you can definitely see at least some of the uh, Hogwarts lights that they have there. I'm not sure you can probably see some of the nighttime show. I can kind of make out the lagoon. Excuse my finger, but the lagoon is right about there on your image. Um, so you can probably see some of it. I'm not sure how much of it you can see though. So now walking around here, and there is, that is the Volcano Bay bus drop off. Right there, the big gray building kind of in the center right there. That is the, I don't know, Surfside or Dockside, I forget which one they're building first. That's the new value resort that Universal is building that is not technically on current Universal property. They do own that land, of course. That's where Wet and Wild used to be. But they are building, those are supposed to have very, very cheap rooms, but it's obviously going to be a bus trip to get over here because there's a highway in the way.
And then we are back to the bar. Gosh, it is nice up here. And because we're so high up and they have ceiling fans all over the place, there's a decent breeze in here, so it doesn't feel as bad as it probably should. I mean, it did in the sun, but not over here. Looks like they are set up here to have a DJ or something of some sort. I will try not to be here when there is a DJ playing. I am just playing too old for that garbage. And down here we're looking, this is back onto, that is one of the Cabana Bay Towers. That was actually the tower I stayed in. If you watch my room tour or my uh, top five of Cabana Bay, that is the tower exactly I stayed in. Just on the other side, we had a wonderful Volcano Bay view. And then looking down, you can kind of make out the Orlando Eye down that way and lots of other stuff. So Bar 17 opens at four, but they don't start serving food until five. So if you want to come visit, it seems like four is a pretty decent time. There's really not many people up here. As I said, it's a Saturday. Then you can kind of hang out and wait until food starts being served. I think I can say this is one of the, one of the nicest theme park related bars I've been to. Top of the World at Bay Lake Tower is similar, honestly, and also is good, but this is beautiful. Top of the World has a little advantage because you can see the fireworks very clearly from Magic Kingdom there. Here, you do see a lot of, you know, Highway and Orlando. As a bar patron, they even give you this little bowl of Cajun popcorn that is pretty good and a little spicy. Uh, spicier than I expected it to be. They have about 15 or so draft beers, a couple specialty cocktails, pretty good wine list, and of course the menu that is primarily bao, which I really like. I'm excited to get that in about 45 minutes when they start serving food. But I will say one small touch that I really like. The glasses here are glass look, but they are actually plastic. And it's one of those really minor things, but I kind of like it. I mean, it's not as good as drinking out of a glass, but it's better than giving you like a solo cup to drink a martini out of, which is kind of how some of this works. The main food that they serve here at the Bistro 17 is bao, which is, it's, it's these, it looks like these. You get to pick three for $12, which it's a little pricey, but I'm at a theme park, so what are you gonna do? I personally went with the pork belly, the duck confit, and the chicken shawarma ones. The verdict on the bao was it was pretty darn good. The bao bread itself wasn't the best I've had, but the fillings were really good, really flavorful, which I didn't really expect, and I wonder if it would get toned down over time, but still, I'm talking about now. So I will say they have had some operational issues. Of course, it's the third day they've been open. They're going to have that, but the staff has been excellent. I've actually gotten comped both a free beer and free food because my bill took so long to get because they had computer issues. And uh, that's really all you can ask for from these types of places is when there are problems that they do their best to make it right and, and they have. So um, I will see you real soon with the uh, night shoot, hopefully. <laughs> It is proper dark up here. So uh, let's do a quick lap and see what we can see. Plus, the cinematic spectacular of the show at Universal Studios Florida should be starting in about a minute, honestly. So I'm curious to see whether we can see it. And this is facing the park. Sorry, there is quite a bit of glare on these windows. They overlit this a little bit, I think. Can't really see much. What you can see is part of the Hogwarts Castle lighting up right there. It is changing color. I know this video isn't great because there's so much glare and I had to zoom in quite a bit to even get there. Oh, look, there's fireworks. That's pretty cool. So this way here, we are looking towards Cabana Bay at the bottom of the screen. Volcano Bay is the purplish blue triangle in the middle of your screen. And off to the left is, I don't know, some sort of slingshot thing with the Orlando eye splitting it down the middle and some sort of tower thing. I don't know. I don't really know non-theme park Orlando attractions. So that's it. That's my look at Aventura Hotel right there with its non-stop curves and glass. Hopefully you liked it. I like this hotel. It's really, again, 
they've done a really good job with some of these value plus hotels i like this hotel a lot i like cabana bay a lot sure they don't give you the express pass like the deluxe resorts here do but if you're looking for a slightly more affordable vacation this is yet another good option for you here at universal so thank you very much again for watching and be excellent to each other